Hello developers, I know it's been a long time since I made a last video and to be honest, I've been a little lazy with a mix of me moving back into New York City and actually into a new apartment. So just trying to get back into the flow of things. With that being said, I'm super motivated to create more new content that you might be interested in. And today's topic is actually going to be related to motivation and what motivation means as a software developer. If this is your first time coming to this channel, welcome to the Tech Rally channel where we talk about life as a developer, coding, how to break into the space. If you think that these are topics that you might be interested in, hit that like and subscribe so you can stay up to date whenever I post new content. Without further ado, let's talk about motivation as a software developer. To me, motivation in general is pretty tricky because I feel that everyone's definition of motivation is a bit different. On Google, there's actually two definitions. Definition number one says the reason or reasons one has for acting or behaving in a particular way. Definition two is the general desire or willingness of someone to do something. So to me, that sounds a bit different. The first definition is the why, and the second definition is your attitude in relation to getting something done. Don't get me wrong, I think motivation is a mix of both, but I think as humans, we generally gravitate or associate motivation more towards one than the other. And this is kind of where the problem lies. I've seen so many people talk about this in coding forums like Free Code Camp, Stack Overflow, and most of it revolves around how do I get myself motivated to coding again? Or how do I stay motivated when learning how to code? This is a very tough topic for me because people in general have different studying habits. But if I had to break down motivation in relation to a developer based on the two definitions, this is how I would do it. In my opinion, a lot of people have the same why motivation when learning how to code. They want to become a software developer. But instead of just generalizing, I encourage you to write down on a piece of paper or whiteboard of why you want to become a software engineer. Personally for me, coding was a path where I could actually start all over again, click that reset button and change my career. I had a lot of different whys in my reasons for quitting my job and starting all over again. And this is my personal list but I recommend you to come up with your own personal list. We might have some overlap and that's really good, but at the end of the day, you have to know your reasons why you wanna become a software developer. But so reason number one, I wanted to learn how to code so I could be a software engineer as a career. But breaking that down into more finer details, we'll go to reason number two. So reason number two, I wanted the ability to create beautiful products. For me, it was about having the control and the ability to build websites, build platforms, build applications that other people can use. Knowing that I had some responsibility of building out this application gives me a lot of satisfaction. Reason number three was I was not challenging myself and my previous company. Although I had an engineering title in my job description, I did very little engineering. I followed a standard operating procedure, which basically means that you just follow a script and you make sure you do that every day. And the whole point of that is to ensure that no mistakes are ever made. You just do the same thing over and over and over again. It came to a point where if I spent 30 minutes to an hour just learning how to code, I got way more satisfaction from doing that than spending 10 to 12 hours at my job. So for me, learning how to code was an avenue where I could actually challenge my brain, put myself in uncomfortable situations. Lastly, but definitely not least, the reason why I wanted to become a software engineer was the increase in pay. Show me the money! Jerry, you better yell! Show me the money! That one is pretty self-explanatory. Being a software developer is pretty hard, but the reward is there. If you just put in the effort, you'll definitely get paid, especially if you become a great developer. Just this idea of staying at my old place and just getting very minimal raises was not appealing. Being a software developer and having the potential to get that exponential growth in terms of salary was very, very appealing to me. There are more reasons why I want to become a software developer, but those were the primary reasons. So now that you know my reasons, I challenge you, why do you want to become a software developer? It's very natural and easy to give up when you're struggling, not understanding what's going on. But if you understand your end goal and why you decided to do it, I think that's enough of a reason for you to keep going. If you don't feel like it's worth it or your why motivation is not as strong as you think it is, take a step back and reevaluate those reasons. It's very good before you even start to really list out why you wanna do what you do. And that doesn't only apply to software development, but applies to a lot of things that require a lot of commitment and hard work. Now let's dissect the second definition, the desire and willingness to get something done. 
We live in a culture where we want everything now. Our instincts these days seems like if we can't understand it right away, then we just don't want to do it. We suddenly get unmotivated and internally we look at our ROI, return of investment, of our time spent studying. Like, is it worth studying and spending all this time debugging the small issues? I could have done so many other things, but you know that the reality is, is we waste a lot of time too. To me, staying motivated based on the second definition is all about consistency. You have to have that desire and willingness to keep coding, whether it be hard, difficult, or even fun positive or negative experience, you have to keep going. You're going to have ups and downs with coding. And the reality is, is coding is one of those things where you're going to have some rough patches along the way. It's not easy. And if it was easy, everyone would be a developer. If you're having a hard time understanding this and breaking it down, I would compare the motivation aspect to going on a ridiculous hike. It's going to be super exciting in the beginning and you motivate yourself to go on this hike because you want to be healthy, you want to get to the top, and that is your end goal. When you start the hike, your, your motivation is definitely at an all time high. But throughout the hike, your legs start feeling heavy. You're sweating a lot. You're getting really thirsty and you start to question yourself. Is this worth it? I don't want to do this anymore. This is really hard. Can we just go back down? Because downhill is easier than going uphill. But then you remind yourself of your why. And in this case, you want to get to the top of the hill. You want to be healthy and you push yourself to get to the highest point. Once you get to the top, you're going to feel super accomplished. You persevere through the hard times and at the end of the day, you finish the hike. Just like in coding, you're going to feel struggle. You're going to have your ups and downs. You're going to feel confused, but don't be like the hikers that go back down the hill. Be the hikers that keep going up because when you reach that top of becoming a software developer, that's when it's going to feel so satisfying. That would be the motivation factor for you to keep going. Right now, I've been focusing on motivation revolved around software development, but this advice really applies to anything. Personally, for me, I have this lofty goal of being a career coach for software developers. It came from a motivation to help people break into the space and actually creating this YouTube channel was the initial catalyst for getting that started. I'm nowhere near creating a business or having clients by any means, but I understand that this is gonna take a long time and it's a lot of work. I don't expect myself to have a thriving business in a matter of months, but that's just part of the game that I'm just learning and failing, learning and failing, and you just keep going. So if it helps you in any way, just understand even as a senior software developer, I go through a lot of different struggles, whether it be architecture changes or backend questions that I might not be as familiar with because I mostly do front-end development now. All of these things are part of the game that just require work and Losing motivation is not necessarily a bad thing. It's just one of those things where you just have to go through your ups and downs and figure out what is motivating you to continue this process as a software engineer. With that being said, I wanna continue my goal of helping others as a career coach for software developers. So if you stay to the end of this video, I've opened up my calendar to do one-on-one -on -one consulting. I would love to talk to each and one of you. And if I could, I would do it for free. Unfortunately, I have a pretty busy schedule with work and projects, so my time is limited. I've seen other YouTubers charge $300 an hour and more power to them. They're super busy. I'm sure their time is super valuable. But in this case, I wanna to talk to you and figure out what struggles you're going through at this moment. And we can go over anything that you want, whether it be interview prep, what should I be learning, how is the job market, et cetera. Just anything that will help you move a little bit closer towards your goal of being a software developer or continuing your career goals as a software developer, we can talk about anything. I added my calendar link below, so feel free to sign up and let me know if you have any other questions. Either way, thanks for staying till the end of this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.